On another beautiful day in Newport, the Gulls return home to Cardines Field to take on the Mystic Schooners in a Coastal Division matchup as the Gulls look to snap a three-game losing streak here at home. Welcome into Cardines Field. I'm Sam Reese, welcome you, well, welcoming you into the Newport Gulls pregame show here on the Newport Gulls broadcast network. We've got plenty of interviews coming your way, so stick around. It's the Gulls pregame show. Stay tuned. I won! That's a good play! Since 1974, the Rhode Island Lottery has paid over $57 billion in prizes and contributed over $8 billion to Rhode Island's general fund. Your Rhode Island Lottery, a good play for 50 years and counting. Welcome back into the Newport Goals pregame show here on the New Newport Goals broadcast network. I'm now pleased to be joined by Brody Zako out of Austin P. Brody, it's great to be with you and I'll start things off. You've played all four games so far for the goals. How has it been here in Newport, just acclimating and getting used to playing with your new teammates? Oh, it's it's so much fun. I can't ask for a better environment to play baseball, to be honest with you. Having a blast out here in Newport and enjoying baseball. And it's you can't cover up the fact that the team is on a three-game losing streak. So what's been the message for you and the rest of your teammates just trying to snap an early season skid, especially as a lot of guys continue to file in and there's still a lot of adjustments being made? Yeah, I mean, uh, we're just getting the, the rough games out of the game early, you know. You know, figure stuff out now so we can be great later on. And for you personally, playing here in Newport with your college teammate in Adam Walker, I sort of talked to Adam about that the other day. You guys have both endured very unique collegiate journeys to get to this point, and you're both coming off a of spectacular season at Austin P. So how fun is it having your Austin P. teammate here with the goals? Oh, Adam, it's my, he's my best friend. We do everything back at Austin P. together, and, you know, thankfully we got to stay with the same host family here too, so... Just hanging out with Adam and the guys, it's, it's a blast, man. Can't ask for a better opportunity. And I also got to ask you, is this really your first time this last week that you've been in, in this area of the country here up in the Northeast? How are you liking the Newport region so far? I'm, I'm liking it up here a lot. Weather's nice, yeah. beach is cool, but uh, no, it's, it's my first time up here, so making the best of it. And last one for you. For you personally, uh, you know, at the plate and in the field, how are you feeling, you know, now four games into the season where you've been a regular in the lineup? I feel great, <clears throat> you know, just ready to do whatever I can to help the team out and win some ball games. All right, that's Brody Zako. Thanks so much for the time, Brody. The Newport Goals pregame show rolls on after a quick break. Stick around. Welcome back into the Newport Goals pregame show here on the Newport Goals broadcast network. I'm Sam Reese, pleased to be joined by the director of baseball operations, Mike Falcone. Mike, it's great to be with you. Another gorgeous day here at Cardines Field as we get set for the Narragansett Bay Insurance Cup. So talk about how special it is when the goals take on the schooners here at Cardines. Oh, every time you get weather like this, it doesn't matter who we're playing, a Little League team or the Mystic Schooners, but uh, they're one of our, our favorite teams. I mean, we go back and forth with them. Their whole operation, Dennis Long, Don Benoit, I mean, they're a class act uh, from top to bottom. And it's always fun because they put together a great team. Chuck and Chris, they always put together a great team too. So it's uh, not a bad ride down to Mystic. Um, and we really enjoy playing them and enjoying playing baseball in general. Yeah, the first of seven meetings between the Goals and the Schooners this year in a Coastal Division matchup. And this is home game number three, still a lot more to go this summer. So. Uh, just talk about you know all of the hard work that's gone into making the exper the great experience here at Cardines Field possible because obviously you play a big role in, in making the experience so great. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, they go by quick. So although this is game three, we're going to be at game 19, 20, 21 uh, real soon, blink of an eye. And uh, it's great. It's a lot, of, a lot of work. I mean, I can't thank uh, our volunteer staff, our intern staff, and the sponsors like Narragansett Bay Insurance. I mean, for them to step up and help us make this all possible, banners, signage, and uh, help fuel even the, the baseballs, bats, and everything like that. So, I mean, it's it's a team effort through and through. The Newport Gulls really preach family, and I wouldn't be able to do any of this without so many individuals as I look around the park. Right, and then last one for you, Mike. Obviously, you know, forging those relationships with a lot of new players that come through Newport each summer is important, and I know I know you love making those connections as well and making the players feel at home. So how, how cool has it been to kind of meet this new group of players and make them feel at home here in, at Cardines, especially in the first week of the season? Yeah, well, again, when you get weather like this, uh, it's easy 
to make them feel at home with the crowds that we've uh, been fortunate to get, and they've been awesome. I've loved uh, meeting them, enjoying them, and we do so much in the community, the reading program, um, a lot of community events, and they've all been gung-ho. Uh, they all want to be submerged themselves in this community um, and have been super cooperative and, and outgoing, so I've really enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to meeting the rest of the guys who aren't here and uh, bonding with these guys throughout the summer here. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Mike, for the time. We appreciate everything you do for the goals. The goals pregame show rolls on in a moment. Make sure you stick around for more. I was a firefighter in Little Compton, and uh, I was teaching a lot of classes. And, and being up there at 330 pounds was somewhat hypocritical. South Coast Health was excellent in providing the tools and, and the opportunities. You are retaught to eat after the surgery. And it was exciting to finally know that I was, I was getting to where I wanted to be. Having kids, you know, a nine-year-old son, it makes me feel really good that I'm in better shape to enjoy his childhood with him. I'm very happy. Very happy. Welcome back to the Goals pregame show. I'm here with manager Mike Coombs. Not the dream start you have at home going to drop in the last two. How does that change anything going into today? It really doesn't change anything. I mean, we've got some new faces in, and they're going to be in the lineup tonight, so help is, help is here. And we still got a couple more to go, so, you know, we'll see. We're, we're just trucking along trying to get uh, a complete game played. It just seems like one inning here and there is snake biting us, you know? Yeah. But we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We just got to get the right guys in the right spots at the right time and we'll, we'll be fine. So kind of bouncing off of that question, the goals have been pretty good at home in that early stage of the game and like you kind of said, got to do a little bit better on that end game. Is there any, yeah. any changes mentally that players are going through and or the coaching staff's going through? Uh, no, I mean, uh, Teddy's working with the uh, hitters, trying to get their, you know, the wood bat, the whole nine yards, trying to make sure that they're swinging at good pitches. And Kevin Long is uh, working with the pitchers and making sure that they're not overdoing anything and preparing themselves for their next start. And going into this game, it is a rivalry game against Mystic. Is there any motivation that goes into going into a rivalry game being how the way games have gone as a reason? For me, it's just a, it's another baseball game. You, you do your homework on their hitters, you do their homework, our homework on their pitchers, and we find out what they can do and can't do. And, you know, as far as a rivalry, I, you know, I think that's probably New York Yankees and Boston Red Sox. That's a rivalry, you know. These guys here, they're here for one year, and if you want to call it a rivalry, that's fine. Last question. Yeah. So, as we talked about late games not been the best, is there any, do you think that an early impact can cause this game to go one way or another for you guys? Well, if I keep my fingers crossed, that maybe from about the seventh inning on, we could be okay. You know, yeah. you just never know. This is a game of baseball, and you know sometimes it doesn't work out the way you want it to to work out. And sometimes you go, dang, I didn't think we were gonna do that, and then all of a sudden, boom, we did that, and it's crazy. You know, it happens. Hey, that's when manager Mike Coombs will be back with the pregame show in a little bit. I won. That's a good. Since 1974, the Rhode Island Lottery has paid over $57 billion in prizes and contributed over $8 billion to Rhode Island's general fund. Your Rhode Island Lottery, a good play for 50 years and counting. Welcome back to the Goals pregame show. We're here now with Randy Seymour. Coming from Michigan State to here, is there any change in strategies, any change in approach going into games from here compared to Michigan State? I think from here on out, it's just playing with different approaches to see what works the best and play with different strategies in the field, like charging the ball more 
and getting comfortable with the throws. And coming into a rivalry game against Mystic, is there any like added power that you have on swings or any extra effort that you have going into a rivalry game like this? Oh yeah, I mean, every rivalry game is gritty. You gotta love them. And I'd say, not, I wouldn't say power. I would say just keeping it simple and doing what you do. Trust the game a little. And last question, just the overall atmosphere of uh, Newport. Is it any different than playing at the college level that you play at, or is it about the same? I mean, nothing like Cardines. I mean, this place has been amazing so far. It's not even middle of summer yet, and I'd say I absolutely love the weather. It hasn't been bad at all, and it's absolutely beautiful here. And we'll be back with the pregame show in a little bit. Welcome back into the Goals pregame show here on the Newport Goals broadcast network. That just about puts a wrap on things as the Newport Goals are set to take on the Mystic Schooners in the Narragansett Bay Insurance Cup, the first of seven meetings between the Goals and the Schooners this season. First pitch slated for 635, and you can catch the action on ESPN+. Thanks so much for watching.